What is going on guys today we are looking at inform guerrero and hopefully you did get a lot of good foot champs rewards unfortunately for me i didn't really get anyone i wanted we got lopez and we got the 82 or 81 from wolfsburg nothing really too amazing there but i wanted to kind of finish off a few more of the reviews that i finished um i finished gameplay last night and obviously didn't manage to get a chance to get them out but today we're going to be finishing off i think it's like four four reviews we've got guerrero we've got uh lopez we've got uh, I don't know who else I think we've even got Danny Ings coming out as well so they'll be out tonight and then hopefully we should get a big start on the rule breakers team two so let's get into Guerrero he is a position change from left mid to left back and he's gone up from 84 to 86 let's get in so going into the in-game stats for him, he is a four-star skiller with the two-star weak foot. He is left-footed, which is always perfect as a left-back. You really don't want to have a, a right-footed left-back. It just doesn't seem to kind of compute very well with the kind of preferred foot as they go down the wing. You need that left-hand side, and especially seeing as though the wing play is a massive one this year, you want to make sure you are playing on to his strong. He is five foot seven with a medium-medium work rate, and he is short and lean on his body type. He's got 77 pace, which is 85 acceleration and 70 sprint speed. We've got a bit of shooting, obviously, because he is a left mid originally. There isn't a huge overlay with moving all of his stats around and making him into a more efficient left back. He got an increase of plus four on the defending, plus three on the physical, two on dribbling, two on passing, three on pace and one on shooting. So the problem you have with these sort of cards and especially going backwards, I find... If it's not a CDM going to a centre back, a left mid really isn't going to have a masses or a massive amount of defending. So he's already got a plus four, and that's only got him up to seventy-seven defending. So there's always the issue that is he right for it? Can you play him as left back? And actually, does he do a good job? I think he did okay. I wouldn't say he was amazing personally, as we will kind of explain in the end review. But I think he is more of a left mid. He's got 89 dribbling, which is absolutely spectacular. 88 composure, which is beautiful. 89 agility, 92 balance, 86 reactions, 89 dribbling, and 90 ball control. We can already see he's very comfortable on the ball. Passing is exactly the same. We've got 89 and 80 short and long. And we've got an array of 80 plus stats in there. And even in the defending, like don't get me wrong, it's the 39 head and accuracy that's really rocking it down. And we do have 80 and 82 standard slide tackle with 80 defensive awareness and 85 interceptions. So there is that, the fact that he has got relatively good defending, but it, I just think it's in terms of animation, in terms of his position and everything else. I feel like defensively, he's not as solid. On the ball is absolutely wonderful. You could get a left mid that could preferably play more as a left back and then have this left back go up into left mid. And I think he'd do really well there. In terms of chemistry style, people are wanting that shadow. You need that pace. And especially with a card like this, you definitely need that pace. Plus that big increase on his defending. It gives you 87 pace and 86 defending. Much, much better. Turns him into an 87 left back. And you can already tell that in terms of a defender, he's not quite up there. Because if he's already an 86 on his base, going with a shadow, which should really put him up in the ranks, really, should give him higher than an 87 overall. In terms of everything else, though, we've got 52 and 55 strength and aggression. So nothing great there. 81 stamina. And then shooting-wise, was it's, a, it's bang average, really, in terms of shooting. I personally would have him more as a left mid, and I think he's more suited. But left back is a left back. So let's get into the gameplay. So we do find with Guerrero, he was good at tackling. He was great at intercepting and really kind of jockeying, if anything. I wouldn't say he was my favorite left back in the world and mainly offered more runs going forward. As we see the first one, he was brilliant going down that wing. And that is what a left mid does. In terms of, like I say, his general defensive awareness, it just wasn't quite there. He had the little bit about him to make sure that he got back. But in terms of actually... Being a defender, I feel like he was struggling. It was a little bit on the kind of average side. And it was moments like this where we're kind of giving him that overlap. And he was absolutely running with it. Really good on the ball. Nice little pass inside, crossing, all of that good stuff. And really making a mark in the kind of attack inside of stuff. Would you pay 19k for him? I think, to be honest, 19k or 18k for an 86 is absolutely phenomenal anyway. Because when we get in-form SBCs or anything that requires an in-form that is highly wanted, 
his price will go up massively being an 86. So potentially putting one in your club, maybe after 6 p.m. tomorrow. We see here a great little interception there, managing to tackle him away. But after 6 p.m. tomorrow, when we get the next set of rule breakers, definitely look at having one in your club. It's obviously going to be quite a low price and really won't go so down going into the more. overall form then. As we can see, like I said, 19k on his base, 17 on PlayStation, 19 on PC. For an 86 in form that is left back for Dortmund, which is a relatively prominent team in the Bundesliga. Portuguese links, so we do have a few like, I think Rafa's the left mid, I think Pizzi's right, Rafa's left. So obviously a good link there. And overall, he's an in form. His, ma his lowest price is 10.5k, which he never would be being an 86 overall anyway. I think personally it's worth definitely having one of these in your club just as like a club filler that's going to go up in profit potentially and if you get an icon SBC that needs an inform and an 87 or 86 rated team he is going to absolutely fly up all informs will so having a little club stock of them is always never a bad idea in terms of playability. I don't think he's going to last in foot champs for me. He's got great links. Don't get me wrong. His links are incredible. We've got Witzel flashback. We've got Delaney in form. We've got a rule breaker Costa. You've got normal Sane all one to watch. And then you've got people like Goretzka. Um, you've got Forgan Hazard. I suppose he has, he can normally get a few in form. So later on down the line, you have a nice link there. And also with Royce. Alternatives, I've gone for Alfonso Davis, who I think is a much better suit, or Rosa Leon, who is a cheaper, better suit in terms of a left back. They are actual left backs, and they do a wonderful, wonderful job. In terms of the overall, I've given him a 5.5. I don't think he's quite bang average, but I think as if I'm reviewing him as a left back, he is definitely only just above bang average for me. As a left mid, I may be looking at six, maybe six and a half, because there is still so many improvements that he needs and can have. So hopefully we do see more in forms of him. He could be a really good card going forward. And if he does manage to kind of hit them ratings of maybe getting another extra two or an extra three or four, we could see some very, very nice stats on him. But hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you smash that like button. And I'll see you. Bye.